Greetings and welcome to Judgment Begins in the House, everybody. It is April 9th, 2024 on the Gregorian calendar. We are enjoying the first day of the month of Haviv, the first month of the Hebraic calendar. And we are just excited about what God is doing. We thank you, Lord, for the gift of new newness of life. We thank you for, um, Lord, just help me, help us. We thank you that we perceive that you are doing a new thing. And because we perceive that you're doing a new thing, you that means you've invited us to partner with you in your story. We thank you, Lord, and ask that as I am sharing this word, that it pierces the heart of those who you would have act upon your word. We thank you that you are gracious and merciful and that there's nothing that is beyond your purview. There's nothing that is too hard for you. So have your way, Lord. Fill this place. Let me not speak a word that is not pleasing to you. Let your word not return to you void. And I plead the blood of Yeshua. I decree the blood of Yeshua over me and over my house and what you're sending all of your children to do in these days. Have your way in the name of Yeshua HaMashiach. Amen. This has been a battle. I said before that I was committed to not recording or re-recording and because I want to be sure that I am serving the Lord and I'm not more concerned about my hair or my appearance or, you know, any of those things than I am about speaking what the Lord says and being authentic as I do so. And that's not to disparage anyone, so don't take it that way. That is not a slight of mouth or slight of hand in any way. I'm speaking my testimony. But this message has been a challenge. This is recording attempt number five. And I believe that's because of the critical nature of this message and the importance that this message is, gets out because God doesn't give the message I'm about to share, God doesn't release it just because. He releases it and then there's time, as there was with Nineveh and Jonah, there's time for repentance. Because our God doesn't rejoice when there's chastisement and judgment. He doesn't rejoice in that. He's not a sadistic vindictive dad. So this word is about Tel Aviv. Last night as I was recording the Happy Aviv message, the Lord whispered to me during the recording, Tel Aviv. And so in spending time with the Lord today and seeking him for what it is he is saying to me and what it is he would have me say, this is a warning to the wicked powers, the rulers of the darkness of this age, the demons, and the human beings who are operating at the behest of Hasatan in Tel Aviv, Israel. Tell means mound or hill. Aviv, again, we know means barley. So the city of Tel Aviv, Israel, is named after a mound of barley, a mound of Haviv, a mound of the month representing the miracle working power of God redemptive, God's redemptive love toward Israel and all people. 
but Tel Aviv, the city today, is perverse in its wickedness. The things that go on on the ground and underground. A city that should be a model, a first fruit, if you will, model of what it means to be modern Israel, fearing and led by the spirit of the living God through the Messiah is actually a place of deep, gross darkness. And so the Lord had given me a vision about a month ago about, and, and it looked like a party, a decadent party. I could see people, I couldn't make out faces. So it's like um, I could see the outlines, the shadows, the darkness, if you will. And it was clearly a decadent party, a party of perversion and darkness. Like I would imagine, um, you know, the old festivals to Ishtar or Diana to be. And he, he reminded me of that vision. Shortly after, he whispered, Tel Aviv. And God is saying to the people of Tel Aviv, who are complicit in the wickedness, because Satan and his crew, they're already on notice. You have to know that. God is saying that he is going to judge Tel Aviv. God is saying that he is going to wipe away and tear down every altar of wickedness. That he's heard the cries, he's seen the blood. He's seen the wickedness. And he is going to deal with Tel Aviv. What is not lost on me is that the title of this channel is Judgment Begins in the House. And the reality is the people of Isaac's DNA, that Israel, they are God's chronologically first house. So in the same way that he will deal with his house of believers in Messiah, Jew and non-Jew, he will judge beginning in the house. He's also going to judge his chronologically first house. Those who have not yet accepted Messiah. But God hasn't broken his covenant with them. And his word remains. The warnings that he gave through Moses remain. So for those of you who have family members in Tel Aviv, much as it was with Nineveh, when they chose to repent and turn away by rending their hearts and their garments, changing their ways, the blessing in this is that God is giving the warning. The Lord says again, he sees what's happening on the ground and underground in Tel Aviv. Even now, he's saying underground, underground. And so reports and stories about trafficking going through Tel Aviv, child trafficking, rampant pedophilia, things that God hates, they are not unseen by him. And as ones who intercede and pray for and watch over Israel, it's important again that we allow the Lord to speak to us so that we are interceding with his heart.
and that we're speaking truth to power when he directs us. Because if we don't speak this to the people of Tel Aviv and warn them, their blood is on our heads. If we speak this to them when we have audience and the Lord sends us and they choose to continue to go their own way, then Ezekiel, the Lord says through Ezekiel, have their own way. They will continue to go their own way. So I am imploring us to hear the word of the Lord, to not continue to turn our head from the wickedness that's happening in places like Tel Aviv, to not think that because my Lord, because they are in Israel, that God's character changes so that he won't begin his judgment in the house, even much more so now that they've rejected Yeshua. Tell Aviv, Mound of Barley, should be a sign of the first fruit of redemption. As it was with Ruth, she was leaning in the barley field first when Boaz noticed her and she was redeemed because she'd humbled herself. She'd chosen to follow Naomi's God, the Most High, the one and true God. And she was therefore redeemed from an incestuous DNA because she chose to turn toward and follow God. That can be so for modern Tel Aviv if their leaders choose to deal with the wanton and rampant wickedness Our God is God of justice. He is. I want to pull it up because I want to pronounce it correctly. He is Yahweh Sidkenu. And he will deal. So Lord, I thank you for this word. I thank you for this word of warning. Um, I thank you that you are long-suffering. I ask that this word reach the ears of those who will intercede according to your will. I ask especially, Lord, that for those who have access to leaders in Tel Aviv, that they will speak this word of warning and this word of correction so that the leaders of Tel Aviv have an opportunity to deal with, to eradicate themselves, the wickedness that is going on in that on that mound lest you have to do so and many more are affected because of their reckless prideful rejection of who you are have your way lord and thank you i ask that you just surround your people with your favor as with the shield restore our souls in the places where we are pressing through the narrow path the narrow way and lord give us courage and faith to proclaim what thus says the lord because of our love for you and love for others and to not turn back lest many more are lost than need be. Thank you for who you are. Thank you for what you're doing. In the precious name of Yeshua HaMashiach, amen. 
Okay, so just quickly again, Tel Aviv, Israel, the Lord sees the wickedness going on on the ground and underground. Leaders there, deal with it, lest the Lord himself has to deal with it. In Yeshua's name, amen.